Oh, cool. Hello. Hello. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, I am from Scotland. Um, I was born in England, uh, but I do consider myself fully Scottish because my mum's an alcoholic and my dad's clinically obese. So <laughs> just kind of works. It also makes me half American, so it's nice to be home. Um, I, no. Uh, <laughs> I like it. I moved out uh, a year ago, and my mom's biggest fear when I moved out was that I was going to become a drug addict, uh, which was very naive of her because I was a drug addict when I lived with her. <laughs> I was just much better at hiding it. Now, when I say drug addict, I don't do drugs. I do drug. <laughs> I do one drug. I do a drug I'm willing to bet about 50% of people in this room will have tried at one point or another. A drug a lot of people, everyone do agree, uh, should be fully legal everywhere by now because it's got no real health ramifications. Meth. That's um, how I stay so skinny. Um, no, I'm obviously talking about weed. Uh, I do smoke weed. I'm not trying to make it seem cool. It does that itself. Um, I do it because I trust it, okay? I don't do any other drugs because all other drugs can kill you, okay? Even alcohol can kill you. I mean, obviously, still drink alcohol because otherwise I wouldn't have a personality, so. But if you go to a party where somebody overdoses on alcohol, that's a very serious moment. That's, Daniel, Daniel, come quick. Steve's overdosing alcohol. How does he look? Oh, he's awful. He's on the floor. He's barely breathing. He's in a pool of his own vomit. We're going to have to get him to hospital, and we're going to have to get his stomach pumped. As opposed to, Daniel, Daniel, come quick. Steve's overdosing marijuana. How does he look? Comfortable. <laughs> he's, um, he's watching Shrek. <laughs> Do we have any Pringles? <laughs> I am. Um, <laughs> nice to find the stoners in the crowd there. <laughs> uh, uh, I still smoked weed when I lived home with my parents. I obviously had to be subtle about it because I didn't want them to find out. Uh, it's the best time I could ever choose to get high was whenever I was babysitting my younger brothers. Now, okay. <laughs> Before we get judgmental, one important bit of information that you need to remember is that I don't love them, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just you're worried. Um, I wasn't doing it around them, right? All they knew was that I was going outside for 10 minutes and then coming back in funner. <laughs> and they loved it. <laughs> They'd be like, can we get a bedtime story? I'd be like, yeah, you can get a bedtime story. <laughs> How about we build a fort first? <laughs> I really enjoy America when I'm here. You guys have negative stereotypes, which I don't like. All Americans are stupid. All Americans are stupid. Not true. Absolutely not true. All Americans are fat. All Americans are fat. Not true. It's just when you guys are fat, it's <laughs> impressive. <laughs> um, a country that believes that obesity is a disease, but homosexuality is a choice. <laughs> Okay, so if you're fat, don't worry about it. That's not your fault. You were probably born that way. But if you're gay, it must be something you ate. <laughs> Was it penis? <laughs> being gay isn't a choice. If was a choice, there wouldn't be one straight man left on this planet. Do you think if I could make myself gay, I wouldn't do it right now and make my life ten times easier? Do you know how much money I'd save? If being gay is a choice, it's not a very fair one. Okay, so you've got two options. You can either spend the rest of your life pursuing women, in which case it's going to take you anywhere from one in six weeks trying to seduce, woo, and charm women into bed through varying methods of lies, deceits, and untruths. It's going to cost you a lot of time, money, and sanity, but eventually she'll concede, and you'll make love together. It'll be this beautiful moment, and you'll spend more and more time together falling more and more in love. But while you're spending this time together, what she's secretly doing is she's putting blinders on the side of your face so you can't see the rest of your life go past you. Friends, family, fun, ambition, memories, dreams. Oh, talk about past it, everybody knows. And before you know it, you're 45 years old, you're married with two kids and all your dreams are dead. <laughs> or, or you can hang out with your best friend all day and get blowjobs. <laughs> what a difficult choice! Um, I'm not gay though. Uh, I don't like hummus, so... That's, uh, that's, that's why they call them homosexuals. That's why that's... that's don't laugh at that, that's shameful. The um, <laughs> thing is, I belong to the generation that uses the term gay as an insult. I've been guilty of it myself. And the reason it's wrong is because it makes no sense. What's insulting about that statement? 
Like if I was walking down the street and a man yelled out to me, you look gay, I'd be like, really? I just woke up. I just threw this on. And I look gay. I think you might actually be the homosexual because you, sir, are flirting. Thank you very much. Have a nice Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Very nice job. Daniel Sloss, ladies and gentlemen, that's our show.